All right, all right. I'm gonna, uh, this is part two. This will be part two. The video cut out. So I'm not really sure. I believe I, let me just jump right into the scripture. Let's just go right back into the scripture. Verse five, uh, this is Psalm 64 and five. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both their inward thought of every one of them is, and heart is deep. So this man is being exposed for being super deep, dark and wickedness. His plans, his plans are being revealed. Uh, first of all, he writes down everything. He literally writes down everything. Okay. When he, when he speaks about these things, he's, you know, in Davos, the World Economic Forum, the Bilderberg Group, and these things get leaked, okay? Why? It's because he is, des the, the prophecy is that he will be exposed. That's the prophecy. And now you're starting to have people, okay, that don't even know about the truth, okay, basically calling out his bullshit, okay? They're all on the comment board. That's why he has to shut down the comment boards on a lot of these different videos, and he's going to put, he will be able to get people, okay? He will be able to. Now, let's read, let's read the quote. Let's read the, the second part of that quote. It says, well, let's read the quote again. You can fool all the people some of the time. So he was able to fool a large population of the earth, okay? And some of the people all the time, okay? You can, you can fool some of the people. They're just completely lost. They're zombies, Okay, if Esau says jump, they're going to say how high. Okay, if, they, if Esau says take a Maxine, they're going to say how many. If Esau says take the chip, they say give me two. That's how deep that, that program uh, is. And he's going to scare him. And he's going to scare a lot of people into it. And that's when your faith is going to be uh, tested. Because you're going to have a lot of people that know these things, but they're going to give in because their faith is not grounded. Okay, that's why the Lord is grounding us, okay, in this truth, in this faith. We go through these afflictions. We go through these uh, these different um, tribulations to what? To ground us, okay, for what? The hour of temptation, okay? The hour of temptation. Because Esau is going to be like, look, you need to do these things, okay? There's people dying everywhere, okay? There's uh, 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 earthquakes, look, up, uprising people killing each other. Look, I'm going to save you. I am going to save you, and you want to be a participant in my society. This is the whole the whole world is going to uh, towards this. Okay, if you want to be part of the world, and you have your family there, your kids there, your wife there, do it. Come on, dear, we got need, we need a chip. Give us the chip. We're hungry. You gonna see your kids starving? We need it. Your baby's starving. Okay, and you're not gonna have faith in y'all about Shema Shai, These words that he will save you through those things. So you're gonna have certain people that believe. And I, I can't even say they believe. That know that they're Israelites, they're still gonna take it. Okay? And they're gonna have the voice of Yohanna saying, You think the most I care if you put a microchip in your hand? And they're gonna justify themselves. Okay, so your boy Yohanna, he's gonna be destroyed, and all those who follow Yohanna, they're gonna be destroyed. But let me go to, uh, I'm gonna read the latter part of this uh, quote again, and then I'm gonna read this scripture in Hosea. It says, But you cannot fool. All the people, all the time. Because, I mean, this is the time for this man to be exposed. Okay? Information is, is skyrocketing. These same platforms that Esau Edom had in his mind to control you, those same platforms are being now used to expose you. Okay? Because the word of Yahweh Bashamashai is exponentially, I mean, far greater. Okay? You can't even compare it to the wisdom of this world. Okay, it's destroying the wisdom of this world. All these people with a what a what a uh, uh you know a platform, all these people that had something to say, they're all going to be quieted. Okay? Prophecy is going to shut all their mouths up. Vocab Malone, okay? Yohanna, okay? Uh, uh, uh Hard Rock 214 Street Israelite Bakwash, okay? Uh Nate Nathaniel Okay, these other splinter Israelite groups that's not getting on board. Okay, the Christian, the whole Christian community, which is vast. Okay, the whole Christian and, and Catholic community. Okay, these so-called self-proclaimed prophets and preachers and pastors, their mouth is gonna be shut. Okay, the conscious community, all that shit's gonna be shut down. Okay, it's all gonna be shut. You know why? Because they're not gonna have a clue of what's going on. But then they're gonna realize, oh, the Israel. The Israelites, 
right? It, it was the Israelites. We got it. We got Where the Israelites at? Where them cats at from GMS, man? Where they, where they at? You're not going to find us. Okay, this is Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, okay, which cannot be measured nor numbered. So we're, we're scattered. We're scattered everywhere. Man, so many Israelites, okay? It's, it's more Israelites in the United States than there's Edomites, okay? Don't let this man, <laughs> don't let this man fool for you. We were more in number in Egypt, okay? We were more in number in Egypt. We made Egypt great. Make America great again. When was America great? When you so-called Negroes were at the bottom. You so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You at the bottom. You Native Americans were in reservations. Your land was taken. It was stripped away from you. Okay? Same thing with you so-called Mexicans. Okay? He killed you. He killed you all. He pushed you into uh, um, down there into Mexico. With California. Uh, I believe Nevada. Go, even going up to Washington. Certain those uh, uh, southwestern states. That was all Mexico. Texas. Okay, the battle, the battle of Alamo. So, you know, and then he brought you so-called Negroes over here to serve that bondage. And then even when you when you came out of slavery, you were still building up his society. Okay, you were the shift workers. You were in these factories. You were doing all the hard labor. Okay, and that's how that's how. And, and you know what? You had your head down. Okay, you had to walk on the other side of the street. You were segregated. Okay, that's how America was was built up. To be this great nation. But now it's time for it to fall. Okay. Now it's time for it to be destroyed. And part of that destruction is. You're not able to fool all the people all the time. Okay. People that don't even know about the truth. Are waking up to the fact that you're the devil. Calling. You got Edomites calling. Uh, um, you know. Kill Gates. The devil. Satan. I even seen a video. Of. I don't even. I don't even know how I even. Got on my. Uh, on my algorithm. But it was a, a, a video of. Uh, Elamites, Elamite, Elam. They could have been Jake's too. It was Elam. They were going into the the Illuminati and in, in, in all the con so called conspiracies, talking about the Illuminati, how they're the devil. But they were doing it in the in an Elamite um, language, and you can hear certain. You know, they'll 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 give you terms that are only in English, right? And you can be like, oh damn, this is what this dude is talking about. You know, so you're kind of able to get the understanding. But they're going into you know, the so-called Illuminati. And you know what, man? The truth is going to reign supreme. Okay, you're going to have all type of Israelites waking up to the fact that they're Israelites, okay? Looking like other nations. That's going to freak Esau out. Okay, you're going to have Elam over there in uh and, and, and Bombay, which Bombay, they have a, um, a big boom in hip-hop rap, okay? You got so-called, you will call them Elamites, okay? Those that are not spiritual, you will call them Elamites. They got braids. Okay, they got dreads. Okay, they got the cap. They in the hood. They in the slums. They slanging, you know. And they and they and they rap about the hard the hard life that they uh, that they live in. Okay, who does that sound like? That sounds the same thing like Jake was doing over here in America. But now that Esau got a hold of it, he he changed the tune, right? He changed the tune. Now as I got the I got the Glock, I got the gun. Boom, boom, boom. I hit this nigga. I shot him. You but but all those people that come on the video say, oh, you're cursing. What? You don't say a goddamn thing. When the, the, your favorite nigga rapper is talking about killing people. You don't say shit. You, you know what you say? Oh, that, that slapped. Oh, that, that was fire. Oh, I like that. So you people are ass fucking backwards. Okay? I didn't want to curse, but you know what? Fuck that. These people need to be put to death. Okay? The most high is going to destroy them. These people are ass backwards, man. They don't have a mind. Their mind is warped. They're going to be the ones that's going to take the mark of the beast, and they're going to be destroyed. Okay, what does the scripture say? Give me a let me give let me get a scripture. All right. No, you don't want to be mad, but then you get mad. Which ultimately we're not mad, but you get upset. You know, you get upset at the just the ignorance of these people, and then you come to the conclusion that they need they need to be put down. That's the only conclusion is that. They need to be put down. First, second. I'm all. I'm all in a different chapter. I'm sorry. It's. Let me get it. This is uh. Second Ezra 15 and three. I'm gonna go right to the point. It says, "Fear not the imagination against thee, 
let not the incredulity of the, them trouble thee that speak against thee. That's right. They speak against us. You people, you, you got a lot of jakes that watch the video, but they, in their mind, they speak against us, man. You have certain, the demon will hop on them, and they'll, they'll be listening to all your videos. And then a demon will hop on them, and then they'll, they'll expose themselves. And you know what? You're going to, all, all you damn demons, you scoffers, you will have to, you will have to pay for everything. All those evil thoughts you had in your head, all those evil comments you had in your head, the most high is going to get you. Okay? And that's 100% unless you repent. That's 100%. We're so strong. And, and, and we know that's going to happen. Like, we know America's going to be destroyed. Okay? Like, we know the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. We know that. Okay? We're not, we're not, we're not amongst each other debating, you know, going back and forth, fighting over it, if, if that's the truth. No, we, are, we got the truth. Okay? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to soon manifest. Okay? Everybody else, they're going to be waving on their faith. Okay? They're going to be super wavy. Okay? Why? Because when the storm comes, they're going to be pushed out of there. They're not going to have that. The, the, look, the foundation is Yahweh Shai, okay? There's no other way you can get up, you can go to the, to the heavenly father. There's no other way you can make it. So if your foundation is not Yahweh Shai, okay, you're not calling those names, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You don't believe in this. There's only one doctrine. There's only one belief. There's only one faith. If you don't believe in that, what's going to happen to you? You're going you're gonna to be destroyed. Let's read it. It says, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, the, the unability to believe, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. There you go. The scripture can't be broken. So all those who don't believe, all those who have something to say, okay? You know, you have uh, certain, certain dudes come and joke, joke about brothers, how they look, okay? How they speak, Okay? The whole time they're a complete nigga. Okay? They're gonna they gonna get put to death. We hey man, hey, the water y'all about Shema Shai for this truth. Lord's will. You know, we pray, we pray that we continue, you know, all the way into the end. We have it in our mind. The Lord put it in our mind to continue to the end. Okay, so as Yah Bashima Shai willing, we keep that in mind, right? Uh Psalms, the 51st chapter. Take not thy Holy Spirit uh, 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 away from us. That's a, that's a, that's the prayers we're praying. That's the prayers you should be praying praying for okay so the lord won't make you into a reprobate like the majority of these people remember this is a small sanctuary we don't give a good goddamn if you don't believe we're not here to make you believe we're here to give you the word okay and the most high then he's going to put in your mind to believe but we're commanded to give you the word whether you like it or not and sometimes it's going to be a little bit curse words put in there but you know what deal with it it says Ye are not my people, see, and that was where? That was here in America, okay? We were told what? We were told we we're spicks, we're, we're niggas, and we're, we, we don't know who the Israelites are, but you are definitely not the Israelites. You're not the ancient Israelites. That's what these people are saying. They, can, they can't tell you who the Israelites are. Remember, they have no clue who the Israelites are. They'll just say, oh, they're, they're somewhere. But they know for sure, they know for sure, 100% sure, that we are not the Israelites. It's a goddamn lie. And that's prophecy that that's what will be that that's what will be happening. Okay? So hey man, every everything is lining up. Okay? The, the book is sound. You can't, there's nothing, no, nobody can come in here and you can't, oh, oh, there you see the most he was wrong. See, that's wrong. There's a contradiction. No, you just don't have the understanding, okay? And ultimately, you're just gonna be destroyed. Okay, we're coming in a time where these these people who got a, a alternative way of thinking and you're just going to be fucking destroyed okay you're just going to be destroyed i'm just going to give it to you straight up okay those who don't believe in the word you're going to be destroyed the most high is only delivering a small portion of people here in america okay and that's the elect that's the elect of the nation of israel if you are not part of the elect of the nation of israel you're going to be destroyed by fire bottom line all right all right if you make it that far okay you're going to be locked in detention center. You're not going to have any hedge of protection. The Lord's going to have his holy angels around us protecting us. Okay? To all you fucking scoffers and you scorners. Ye are not my people. So where was that at? That was here in America and throughout the whole earth. But mainly here in America, Babylon the Great. We were told we were not the children of Israel. Now we're screaming out that we are the children of Israel. Now everybody got a, got a problem with it. Even fucking niggas got a problem with it. 
Okay? They got a, they they got the biggest problem. Niggas got the biggest problem that we are we call we're calling ourselves Israelites. We're trying we're actually trying to do the right thing. We're we're trying to actually have a standard. Okay? We're trying to actually have, you know, a a a, a you know, a diet, a cor a correct diet. You know, we're trying to not sleep sleep with other men's women. Okay? Not be a homosexual and Jay has a fucking problem with it. They're going to go. They look, they're going to go. They're out of there, okay? The ones who are going to stand firm are the men of the Lord, okay, and their families. Bottom line, everybody else is going to be destroyed. Okay, and prophets, and you can't do nothing about it. Okay, and you can't hurt us. Okay, the Lord, the Lord has protection around us. So we we can we can, we can, he has protection around us so we can bring the word out, okay? There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Yeah, we're the children of Israel, Yasha Allah. He is the prince of the power, okay? The, the creator of the heavens and the earth. We are his children, okay? Before that, we were called what? Demons, animals. And Jake been called a demon and an animal so long that they rap about it now. Oh, my God, my demons with me, okay? We're a bunch of gorillas. We do this, we do that. I just want to shoot, boom, 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 boom. And Esau paints that. He gives niggas money to paint that narrative on TV screen. While Esau, he got a, he's behind a computer screen with a drone bombing people, destroying people. He, he's, in a, he's in a lab, He's in a lab with human DNA, okay? About to inject you with it. That's what he's doing. But he's going to paint Jake as the... He's going to paint Jake as the, the evil person when he's the evil person, okay? The worker of iniquity. Okay, Esau? So, so we know about... Let me read that quote again. Because that's a powerful quote. I mean, one second. From Abraham Lincoln, that devil. He even knew... But see, the devil even says something. He even knew. You're not going to be able to fool all the people all the time, Esau. This is a time when you're going to be exposed. Okay? You, your wickedness is coming to an end. Your light is about to be put out. And all, and, and all, those, all our wicked people, wicked Jake, they're going to be put out right with you. Because they're going to have the death of an Edomite. Okay? Which is what? Thermal nuclear fire. Okay? And that's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day when the Most High burns up all you people, okay? When he burns your ass up and all your hopes and aspirations because you're, you're inherently wicked, okay? And you hate Yahweh Hashem all right? It says you can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time, okay? But you cannot fool all the people, all the time. That's why he's going to have to come in with his draconian law. Because his plan is not going to... It's, look, his plan is not going to work. Okay? His plan is literally not going to work. His lockdown... Yeah, he's going he's gonna to put hell upon us. Yeah, we know that. But you're going to have a lot of uh, insurrections. Let me, let, me, let me read that. Let's go back in the second address. Let me read that. And then we'll go to uh, Job 20th chapter, Lord's Will. <laughs> This dude, this dude sloppy. I mean, I only want to go into if people are really taking Maxine, if it's a so-called crisis. I don't even give a shit, okay? We know, we, we know, okay? And you should be listening. And you should be doing your own research, okay? You should be praying to y'all about Shemal Shad. That's what you should be doing, okay? Asking for mercy, okay? Pray that what y'all Shad told the disciples before... He went on his his tempt his hour of temptation, his dark hour. What did he tell his disciples? He said, pray that you enter not into temptation. Okay? Because we're going we gonna to all be tempted. Okay? Things are going to be snatched away from you. That's why the scriptures speak about, you know, come out of her, my people. Our mind has to be in heaven. Our conversation has to be in heaven. We can't think about any of these things on the earth. It's all temporal. Everything you see, even your hopes and your fucking dreams, it's all temporal. Okay, what you want to do? All that, all that, all that stuff is done away with. Okay, there's only one thought. Okay, and that's the kingdom of heaven. We're that close. That's the mindset you should have. Okay, now we want to go to college. I want to, I want to do. Nah, man, we ain't got time for that. Okay, we we don't have time for that. This dude Esau, he's coming in. All right, we got time to prophesy. That's the only time until the Lord said no more. Okay. Then when our tongue cleaves to our mouth, then you already know that's super game time. We are, it's already game time, but that's super game time. And by then, it, the chip's going to be out. He, he, 
Esau's not going to allow the internet to be just running rampant like that when he's pushing out his mark of the beast. He's not going to allow that. Just like this, this uh, Maxine. Okay, he's having all type of issues. He has, to, he has to write new legislation to counteract these things. Okay? YouTube have to do different policies. They have to write more algorithms. Okay? More people have to watch the video. Videos are being taken down. As everybody is seeing what this is. Okay? So expect the famine of the word to kick in really soon. Okay? And that's when basically the, the doors of mercy is pretty much closed. Okay? You're not going to be able to go. I was thinking about this the, uh, the other day. Like, yeah. I'm like, man, you're not going to be able to just go on the internet. Okay? Just like you're not going to be able to fucking just travel. Okay? Without the right... Uh, 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 documentations. Okay, you're not gonna be able to travel with the, without the right documentations. You're not gonna be able to get on the internet and travel freely because you travel when you're on the internet. You're traveling. Okay, you're electronically traveling to different what websites. Okay, different places of the world, so to speak. Okay, on the internet, you're not gonna be able to do. You're not gonna have free internet. Okay, free. The internet was just free, just like before the lockdowns. You were able to go anywhere you wanted, especially if you had the right money. You could do anything you want. Now, like, no, 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 no. Okay, you need this. You need that. You need that documentation. You need this. Okay, you need. You're gonna need that vaccine. You're gonna need this chip. Okay, okay. There's gonna be uh, curfews. Okay, it's gonna be on some communist China type shit. How everything is pretty much censored. OK, and if they catch your ass doing something, they're going to come and they're going to come to your door like they do, they're, they're doing over there in uh, Australia. You think it's a joke and you have a lot. You gonna have a lot of people that's going to bug out when Esau really start clamping down. And we've been telling this dude's about to clamp down. You, we're not going to bug out. OK, because we already know we already speaking what he's going to do. OK, and it's going to happen. You're going to bug out if you're not solid. So you need to get solid. You need to get your house in order. You need to get solid. You need to get your mind right. You need to pray to y'all about Shemal Shai. Okay, let me go to the point. Uh, second Ezra 15 and uh, and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, we're coming into that time. Woe. If you living in the earth, woe, man. If you ain't got this word, it's destruction. It's, it's going to be just like that. Okay, and we're going to even go through fearful situations. Okay, troops coming in. We're going to be, you know, going through different earthquakes and different natural disasters, different plagues, killing people. Okay, we're, we're in the time, man. We're in that time, all right? For, for their, I'm sorry, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. See, we're telling you destruction is drawing nigh. It's coming closer. It's literally coming closer to you, okay? Destruction is right around the corner, Okay? And one people shall stand up and fight against another. We had uh, instances of that heavily in the United States after this, what, these lockdown protests and especially uh, the so-called George Floyd protest, the Black Lives Matter, okay, which and they, they somehow snuck Antifa in there, a so-called radical left, okay, anarchist, anarchist group. So somehow they snuck their ass in there and, and merged Black Lives Matter with Antifa, okay, all out lawlessness, breaking buildings uh, uh breaking into buildings looting burning shit on setting shit on fire and believe you it slowed down right now but why it's gonna spark it can spark up at any given moment okay any given moment it's gonna it can break out okay the thief can come in at any moment that's the mindset you gotta have okay that's what the, that's the mindset that the scriptures tell us the time is short okay and this was this this was uh uh was uh, written 2,000 years ago, they were telling uh, uh, the believers, the time is short. So how much more, when really it was it was set up for this time? Those same believers that believed on are back here believing on believing on it now, okay? Uh, education to draw, the draw, the draw out. If I believe, I believe the draw out. The word education, the brother can fact check me, okay? That's why I said, I will, uh, the scriptures uh, say, um, vaguely paraphrasing, I will bring thee to remembrance. Why would they say that? I will bring thee to remembrance that you once knew these things. Okay? Because there's something called reincarnation. And now when we heard the word, oh, like, damn, I thought it, it's almost like it was just something that just needed to be turned on. It's like, oh, it all makes sense. When you start hearing apostles and elders, when you start hearing these things, like, damn, it, it literally just makes sense. Why? Because we were those same spirits 
that knew that in the past. That's why when these prophecies are, are when we read these prophecies, we were the same prophets that had those prophecies in, in the past. Okay, the Lord told us the same thing that we're going to go on now. Okay, in the past. Okay, I declared the end from the beginning. Okay, well, the prophets, even since the beginning, when the prophets were called seers, the, the end was uh, being prophesied. Look at, look at Enoch. He prophesied about what? Tens of thousands of chariots coming. When is, the, when is that, ha that going to happen? That's going to happen now when Yahweh Shai comes back. When he comes in a multitude of those angels, okay, in the chariots, okay, to redeem us, to redeem his people. The end was being prophesied back then. Okay, so now when we heard the word, it's almost like the Lord just, act, just turned it on, okay? And then from there, you grow, you grow within it, okay? For the sword and the destruction draw nigh. I read that. Um, yeah, let me read it again. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand and fight up and, and shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, okay, which is which is a killing instrument, which in this time, guns and guns that are all time record sale, especially once uh which America's always been a, a gun, a gun toting nation, okay. A gun toting nation, and that's going that's part of the destruction of America. And Esau Enum, he's gonna to try to find a way to take all your guns. But he's gonna have op heavy opposition, okay, from a lot of people that are gun owners. Okay, people are going a lot of women are buying guns now. A lot of women are buying guns. They're buying pink guns and, and purple guns and shit, but that's it can still get you. Okay, so even women taking up arms. Okay. It says, for, for there shall be sedition among men and in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. See, they're, so, the, so people are going to basically, they're going to lose it. What uh, Gerald Salente, what, what does he say? He says, uh, when people have nothing to lose, they lose it. Something like that, right? When people have nothing to lose. And basically Esau is bringing, bringing you to the brink to where you have nothing to lose. Because your business is going to be done. You're, you're, you're not going to be able to go to work. There is going to be no work. Okay. You're not going to have any money. Okay. Your health is going to be all messed up. Okay. Society is just going to break down even more. Okay. America's going to just be, be a gazing stock. Okay. And your God is going to forsake you. Okay. Jesus, the Christ is going to forsake you. He's not coming. He's not going to come back to save you. He's not going to help your situation. Okay. So you're going to have nothing to lose. Your, one of your kids might have died of Maxine. And then, then you woke up to the fact. And that's how a lot of times it happens. These, uh, these, these Maxine um, anti-maxers, which there was a movement before that. Okay. There was a movement before that. Now it's just, it's, it's just, it's heightened. Esau, you, 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 you messed up Esau. You literally messed up. Okay. Cause now they, people ain't buying it. People are not going to buy it. Okay. They're not going to buy it. But there's always there was already a movement, and that's how a lot of these people they woke up. There was a, a a movie, there was a movie that didn't get released though. You could probably find it on the internet, but they banned it heavily. And there was a celebrity, I think it was um Robert De Niro. He he was behind it. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. It was Robert De Niro. He was behind it, but it was gonna come out in one of these festivals, one of these um uh sh not a short film, but a uh, um. Like a Sundance festival kind of type type of thing, you know, independent an independent festival. It was gonna come out, you know. They had a large campaign to push it. It was about Maxine and the effects that it's having on the children, and how a lot of this, you know, you get autism and all these different deaths and these weird diseases. But you know, Esau he was able to suppress it. It didn't come out. So there's already a large population that that don't believe in it, and they're not gonna take it. Okay, and you're gonna Esau's gonna come in with the troops, and it's gonna be gunfights. Okay, that's what we're reading. Say so it says that they're not gonna regard the kings nor princes, meaning the uh, uh, the those that are in power positions. Okay, the government officials, they're not gonna regard the different police forces. Well, you have whole police forces that literally uh, retired, that literally walked away from the from the job. Okay, you have sheriffs out here in um in, in California. You have a certain amount of sheriffs. Okay, was their county? They're not state police; they're county, and they said they're not going to enforce Gavin Newsom's okay uh, tyrannical, you know, stay-at-home orders. They're not going to enforce it. Okay, and it's always been tension between the police force and the sheriffs. So there's going to be even fighting uh, amongst 
the the government there. That's why they're gonna have to bring more of a federal or military, uh, military military rule. Okay, foreign troops. Okay, and then when the when when the foreign troop is at you scoffing your scorner's door, what you gonna do? You gonna be thinking about you gonna be thinking about what we told you, and then you just gonna know it. You just gonna know it's judgment then. Okay. That's a man. We're in a beautiful position. It says, and that the course of their actions shall stand in their power, meaning they're going to do what they please because everything's going to break down. They're going to lose it. They're going to people. I'm telling you, they're going to I ain't telling you the script is telling you, they're going to lose it. their actions. What is their actions? OK, they need they need food. OK, the government, they got food storage. What, what are they going to do? They're going to they're going to arm people up and they're going to go to the fucking food storage. Like they did out there in Nigeria. Okay, they found a big ass warehouse full of food that the government was hoarding. What did they do? They were able to break inside there. I'm not sure if there was guards, but they were able to break inside there and they just ransacked it. And those people are living in poverty. So you Edomites, you're completely done. You're not going to be able to fool uh, um, all the people all the time. Okay, and that's really speaking about the elect. The elect have woken up uh, due to biblical prophecy. OK, so I'm done there. You can read more on your own if you want. I'm going to just wind it down. I'm going to go to Job, the 20th chapter. Get a few verses there. Uh, uh, Job 20. And I mean, that whole chapter is really, really good. But I'm going to just go kind of to the point. Job 20 and 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency. He shall be in straits. See that? So why, as he locks down, the truth is going to actually explode. Okay. To where he's going to have to suppress. Okay. He's going to have to suppress it, but he's not going to be able to suppress it. Okay. When, once the elect is, is sealed, it's pretty much, it's the end. It's the, it's the destruction is coming. So yeah, you can shut down the internet and say the videos are not going out. We're not going out no more. That just means that pretty much the elect is sealed, sealed. Okay, the job, the job has been done. Okay, now it's just time for you to be destroyed. Okay. Move, get, get, move, move your ass, Esau. Stop dragging your feet. Okay, I know you're Esau scared. Esau's scared actually to make a move. Okay. So he says, it says he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. See that? Same thing going into uh, what we just read earlier. Okay. And uh and uh and where, where were we at? We were in, uh, I, I forget, but uh, what we were just reading, or, oh, in 2nd Edris, there we go, 2nd Edris, about the course of the action shall stand in their hand, okay? Yeah, you you remember something and then you forget it, not even a second later, you know? So that word there uh, for uh, the wicked is laborers, we go into that a lot, laborers, meaning the people that you put hell upon, Esau. They're going to be against you, man. Okay? And ultimately, they're going to burn your ass with fire. So he's going to have trouble. He's going to have trouble even within his military. Okay? When he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So he's about to fill his be belly. I mean, he's, he's, he's uh, bringing in his new world order. He has the agenda, agenda uh, 2021. Okay? He really wants this to go. He wants a, a global reset, a global jubilee. Because what, what was it? It was 1979 that America went off the gold standard, if I'm not mistaken. And that would be, if it's 1979, 50 years. My math could be wrong. But it will be 2021 would be the 50th year. Okay, and we know the 50th year is what? The jubilee. Where he wants to forgive. He So to speak, he wants to forgive debt. So... And Canada came out with some legislation like that. Okay. Um, it was it the Freedom for All, the Freedom for All Act. I know it's the Banking for All Act, but it Canada's basically like, we'll forgive all your debts. But you have to, you know, basically sign over all your, your rights, okay, all your property, all your ownership. And we'll but we'll forgive you all your student loans, your your housing debt. So everything will be linked unto you. Check it, read it up. Go go look it up. So when he he's 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 always been making moves, Esau Edom, OK, 
okay? Not, uh, so-called 9-11, Nueve on Once, okay? Nueve Once, um, all, these, uh, all these different wars, all these different policies. But see, now he's about to, he's literally about to come in. Because all that is it's not working. They got to speed it up. They got to speed things up. He's running out of time. Okay, if he was to go and just drag his ass, it wouldn't get accomplished. So now he has to just come out full out dragon mode. Okay, devouring, destroying people. Okay, and he's going to try to justify himself. Um, I mean, I can read. Let me, I want to jump. I want to jump so I can just get to the point. Verse 27, the heavens... The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. See that? He's being exposed, okay, on these very platforms that he tries to use and control, okay? With this just technology of video recording, audio recording, and being able to upload it, okay, into a, a website that they created, okay? As well as being out on the, the highways and the hedges, you know, as a testament to his destruction, okay? He's seen, that's an eyesore, no, he and Esau ain't gonna allow you to touch that. You can't touch that topic. You can't touch the topic of the Hebrew Israelites. You can't do that. None of these governments can touch the topic of the Hebrew Israelites. They have to get permission. And they'll touch on it every once in a while. Every once in a while, they'll throw something out there. But they don't want to bring that to light, you know. But in these coming days, they're gonna blame a lot of a lot of these things on us. Okay, that blame that blame game is coming. All right. The blame, the persecution game. Persecution is coming, baby. OK, let's go, Esau. Persecute us. OK. Scriptures speak about being persecuted for a Christian, a true Christian, an Israelite, a believer. Happy. You're going to be happy. We're going to be happy that you're now. OK, you coming. OK, you Esau, you're making your move. Esau's finally stopped dragging his ass, being bitch made. He's made his move. He just coming all out on a Hebrew Israelite. He going he gonna to come. But that's prophesied. It's also prophesied that the elect have the victory. Okay, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And his tongue is at, is at the weapon. Okay. Bitter words, drawn swords. Okay. Uh, he, uh, uh, the, the, he has the, the teeth as a young lion. He's also known as a serpent, a dragon. Okay. He's known as all these treacherous animals. Okay, his mouth is as a, you know, I said swords. Okay, poison. But none of that, no, what, what happened with, when Paul, when he was shipwrecked, he went on an island and a serpent, a, a venomous snake bit him, a serpent bit him. And the people looked like, oh shit, he must have did something wrong. Okay, a lot, people were a lot more spiritual back then. And uh, nothing happened to him. So they, they, bugged, they bugged the hell out. Like, oh, he must be a god. They bugged out, but now the Lord was with him. So E, so it doesn't matter, E. You're gonna you're gonna throw some of us in a prison, as the scriptures say. But the Lord said, fear none of those, don't fear that. Don't fear that. Okay? So we don't have to fear none of those things. Okay? Yeah, he Esau, he's the uh he's so-called Goliath. Okay, into a carnal man. We it looks like we don't have no chance. We don't have a chance in hell. Okay? It's the, it's the modern day uh, uh, David and Goliath. Okay, are we not as the house of David? Okay, and what did David do? He, he he slung that rock and put him to death and chopped his head off. Okay, that's basically what we ought to do to Esau. That's what Yahweh Shah is going to do. He's going to basically chop the man's head off. He's going to chop the head off the, of the serpent. Okay, and the power is in the where? The head. So the elites, you're going down. All right, and who's who's coming up? Esau, who's coming up? Not you. You're going down. We're going, we're going to be on the top, okay? And we're going to put holy hell on you. You're going, to, you're, going to, you're going to really understand what hell is, okay? You didn't do it right. You literally, we're going to show you how to put a nation in captivity, okay? We're going to do it with style, all right? Let me finish this. It says, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The earth is rising up against you, Esau. Not just, not just the prophets, but through the testimony of the prophet, that spirit, that spirit that the prophets are speaking out, because these words, hey, they're spiritual. They're, 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 that's a, it's an actual vibration, okay? 
It's, a, it's a actual, the words are actual vibration. They're going out through the four corners of the earth. Okay, be it a, the unicorn. Okay. So multiple people can hear this and that's changing their minds. Okay. Either for the good or the worse. Okay. But you even have people that don't know about the truth or they don't believe in the truth. They're still uh, waking up to the fact that you're the devil. Okay. And in these last days, and only what we're speaking, our testimony, okay, is you're gonna have you're gonna have certain people that are gonna believe on the testimony of the 144,000, which are the prophets. Okay, which what is the testimony? It's Yahweh Shai, the prophecies. Okay, the prophecies are going to come to pass, they're coming to pass. Okay, whether you believe it, you like it or not, we're in a time where you will experience it. Okay, you can either be on the good side or the bad side. says the increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from the most high and the heritage appointed unto him by the most high. So Esau, you were actually destined to be destroyed. OK, you were destined to be destroyed and you and you would not be able to deceive the elect. OK, it's really about the elect. Yeah, other people are exposing you. And that's part of your own tongue falling upon yourself. You have an infighting within your organizations. Okay. Yeah, all these things are going wrong. But ultimately, it's, it's all about the elect of Yahweh Basham al Okay. Because if you're not part of that number, you're going to be destroyed. That's just the way that it is. Okay. So until next time, Shalom to Lex. Stay strong.